All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol IDEX, IDEonomics Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers. Welcome back. And we're going to jump into this chart. What a run today for the bulls, right? This hit new lows. It actually broke through that 170 range that I've talked about. And from that point forward, it just started to run. Bulls saw that as a discount. It's like they were waiting for this to get close to 170 or break through it and just run up from that point forward. So I want to go ahead and show the MACD, which we talked about yesterday and how it was showing signs of the fact that it could actually break through that point And we had some dark green bars appearing here. So the dark green bars were appearing. They had to continue. As I stated, they were getting lighter. There was one dark green bar that popped up. And then it started getting lighter again. So that was a sign that this was going back in the other direction. But it only lasted an hour. And you can see how quickly it went from dark red to light red. And from that point forward, it was working its way back up to the midway point. And as you were watching this, it looked like it was going in the other direction. And the blue and yellow line were on their way back up. And from that point forward, you needed to watch it. And as I stated... We wanted this to happen. For those of you that watched yesterday's video, I would love for you guys to comment down below if you saw what I was talking about and this is what we were waiting for and what we were anticipating for, for this to run. And for those of you that haven't gotten a chance to see it, I highly recommend checking it out because the MACD is one of my favorite indicators and it's good to use. But as you can see, yesterday we were at this point and we stated we needed this to happen here for it to continue. Well, it actually was going in the other direction. So you got to watch carefully the behavior, how significantly it was going down. But if it was coming right back up, that was an indication to show every single investor that there was a moment where this was going to break through that midway point or start building the momentum to do it soon, whether it was today or the coming week. And then you can see those bars and that effect happened. So for those of you that saw that, um, I would really appreciate your comments down below to uh, confirm that you watched yesterday's video and you saw what I was talking about. And if you took the time to, you know, double check it as the day was going on. And for those of you that haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. So you can kind of learn from yesterday's observations and analysis leading up to today. So the MACD broke through. The question is, will it actually hold itself up or start to level back down, right? Or could this actually hang out slightly sideways and then bring itself up to newer levels fairly quickly so that this can continue that upward momentum? So we're going to watch for this carefully, but that was a big jump. I mean, this jumped almost a total amount of 40 cents all the way up towards that. So we're going to look at our new lows. We're going to look at, you know, what the MACD is showing already is the fact that it's leveling off. Right now, it's not showing signs that it's just going to collapse. It just started the first light green bar, which means it starts to slowly kind of level off. Or it can go back up to a dark green. You can see that happens sometimes, and then it continues to push itself back up. So we need to watch that carefully for Monday and Tuesday. But right now, yesterday's indications were slightly close it's just it took this dip before the run that was unexpected and that's how the volatility of the market could be and that's why every single indicator isn't perfect but when you put them together and you use them wisely and you know how to read them and pay close attention to them you can see that the indicators are starting to indicate you know the process of the next move or possible move right so here we are with our new lows and i want every single investor to write this down 166 that is the most important number now due to the fact that 170 was broken through 170 gets broken through the next point of reference is 166 166 gets broken through this could be on its way to newer lows and newer support levels now the 50-day moving average is 182 right there one cent below yesterday's resistance very interesting that's how much they pulled up so let's look at our new resistance based off the last couple hours of the day and the highest point of the day. And then our support is going to be a little bit different than the usual because I don't want to use the support of the lowest point before the fall. 
to go ahead and look at because that's a long stretch, right? That's like waiting till it breaks through the 50 day moving average, which could be used as a support before that support, and then waiting till you're in bearish territory to analyze what's going on. So we're going to make this pretty narrow based off the lows here of the previous candlestick and the current candlestick here that we're seeing. And I'm going to break this whole entire chart down as how I would look at it. I don't advise that you have to look at it this way, but I'm going to share it with you guys. We're going to look at these points that are important, and then I'm going to share how else I would break it down to kind of have this all kind of broken down into smaller pieces to see who is dominating the chart. So the 50 day moving average is what lets us know who's dominating right now. The bulls are dominating, but if that gets crossed, we're back in bearish territory. So it's 182. Now that is a midway point throughout this whole process. Then you have that low down here of 169, 166 to keep in mind. But this is our support currently, which is the lowest point right now in this candlestick. And if that gets broken through before getting to the 50 day moving average, I would use this point here as a point of reference, 188. 188 is super important. And due to the fact that it was one of the previous resistance levels you wanted to watch for closely here. So it kind of created here a support on its way up. It was one of the lowest points as it was running up. So 188 could be used as another support level between the current support and a support level before getting to the 50 day moving average to kind of see, even though this is all bullish territory, who is dominating within this area? Because there's a lot of, you know, movement that can happen here that can kind of fog up your attention to the fact that this is moving downwards and you won't notice it because all of this is bullish territory. It seems all right. If the bulls reappear anywhere here, we'll be fine. It didn't cross the 50 day moving average, but you want to pay close attention as much as possible through every section and turn these into different levels here to see how significantly is it moving downwards or upwards. So 188 I would use as a point of reference if this support gets broken through before waiting for the 50 day moving average. That's just me and I wanted to share it with you guys. So it's currently at 198, 10 cents away from 188, right? And post market is $2. So right now it's kind of jumping around. This was the four o'clock in the last hour and went two cents up, but we need to watch and see how it's going to level off and what the next 30 minute time frame is going to show. So it's bouncing around those numbers. The support level right now is 195. If that gets broken through, I'd pay very close attention to how quickly this is moving downwards. You have that point of reference of 188 to look at or waiting till 182, which is the 50 day moving average to see how significantly it went downwards and who is dominating the chart. From 195 being broken through, you still have all of this window here of bullish territory to watch what's going on. The bears could start to dominate or the bulls can reappear and bring it back up. And that will signify that the bulls aren't allowing this to go lower and they're still gaining leverage on the chart. Now keep in mind, anywhere this stock ends up below support and the bulls reappear, the bulls need to reappear and still break through resistance, not just breakthrough support they need to continue to pull up further away from the 50 day moving average to not allow it to catch up to the price but you want to watch for these cues you want to watch if support gets broken through where are the bulls trying to reappear or are the bears tearing down this stock the next thing is our resistance this resistance is significant 205 if 205 gets broken through and turn into a support the bulls can continue this momentum they can continue to work their way up to newer highs, new resistance levels, and push further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction deeper into bullish territory and gaining more control over the chart. Very important. And I want to signify this as an emphasis. 205, which is our resistance currently, is the most important point in this whole entire chart for the bulls right now. The bulls need to break through 205. They can't hang out around it. They can't get close to it. They can't just hang out sideways here. They need to break through this resistance to continue the momentum, not have the 50 day moving average catch up and break through newer highs and new resistance levels. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget 
to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.